Welcome back to Boy Band Break, where we encourage you to take a break from your day and join us in some boy band conversation. As always, my name's Diane. I'm Chinzia. I'm Sophia. And I'm Lydia, aka Mama Lou. Um, before we like really get into anything, I just want to say, um, if you haven't watched last week's episode, like, what are you even doing? Yeah, it was a good episode. It's a hilarious interview. Our very first boy band guests were on the show. We had O-Town on there. Yay. And uh, Diane and I were able to do a really quick interview. So thank you to all the new townies that might be watching. And uh, yeah, check it. We have a whole bunch of O-Town episodes, but that one is the best one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Yes, the townies have been coming out. and Very supportive. And following us, and we appreciate it so much. Um, and I promised a couple of people, uh, in the YouTube comments of our last video. Um, and then even on our Instagram, we are going to get to that book. I promise we will. The Krista book. Yes. Um, Excellent. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but not today. Uh, today. Something to look forward to. Hmm. Yes. Today. Good reason to subscribe to us. Yes. So we're on YouTube and we're on Anchor and we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and all that jazz. And you can send us an email. And so it's at Boy Band Break. So thanks for joining us. B-O-Y-B-A-N-D-B-R-E-A-K, as Shinzi likes to say. Great spelling. All right. Now back to Diane. Yes. (laughs) Um, Today, you know, we used to do this more often and then we kind of stopped because we were like, listen, we're not like super good at keeping up to date with things. <laughs> um, but that was also know, pre-COVID where we had to do things. That's why. Well, and when there was actually things going on. Yes. Um, but there have actually been like a few kind of like boy bandy things that we wanted to talk about and that we like probably would have talked about anyways just like on top of another episode so uh i just thought you know what let's just kick it old school and chat about some boy bands and like what they're up to because unlike canada uh america is starting to open up people are starting to do things and uh, we we can just observe from our homes is all we can do at this point. So, yes, but we can chat about it with you guys. That's uh, true. So, Live vicariously through you. Yes. Um, anyways, what do we want to start with? Do you want to start with AJ's song? Yeah, that's sure. Good one. Okay. So if you if you don't know, um, AJ McLean uh, from the Backstreet Boys. Uh, just recently released um, a new song. It was like a, about a week ago, a um, little bit more. Um, it's called Love Song Love. And yeah, what do you guys think? I, I like loved it. it. It's actually catchy and it has a nice message. So good mm-hmm. job, AJ. I was very catfished by the whole thing. Because okay. I was just like, I'm just like, okay, so... I'm like, okay, you're like, you're in a house with, with two hot ladies. Like, I don't understand where the, where the trans thing comes in. And then at the end, they're like, hey, we're hot ladies and we're trans. I'm like, oh my God, that's how it connects. Lydia's, I, Lydia's talking about the music video in case you're like super confused. <laughs> yeah, no, because I was just like, I'm like. So like, there's two transgendered it. stars in the video. So the but video is kind of like age. Yes, they are very. Oh good. my god! Like mm-hmm. beauty, like in, in you know, in form. I was just like in the flesh, in the flesh. Yeah, seriously. So they're kind of. I think the concept. Um, so Renee, who is AJ's friend and AA sponsor, um, who was also married to Janet Jackson at one point in time, he's wow. the one who directed the video with AJ. Oh. Uh, and it was kind of talking about kind of being your uh, true authentic self. So as we know that AJ's always worn nail polish and like mascara, he was wearing mascara in the video and lace makeup and shirts. stuff. He was wearing pink lace shirts and things like that. So the aesthetics was very nice. You know, so, so they were kind of like in a, a candy, like a, a Barbie house type thing. And there was bubble baths happening. There was some product placement. Pink. 
for some of AJ's stuff. So mm -hmm. there was his nail polish line, um, which is Ava Dean Beauty. Uh, with his bodyguard Josh, so they have they had they were painting nails with that, and then at one point he's wearing a pretty messed up hat, which is his podcast um, with Renee and Cheryl from Dancing with the Stars, ah. and they kind of they, they talk about addiction and mental health and all that stuff, and then obviously AJ is a proud supporter of um, the LGBTQ plus plus community, so um, has a lot of gay and trans friends, and that's what he was kind of. Uh, dedicating this song to and then at the end of the music video there was um some good resources and things like that for people to reach out and whatever so yeah i thought it was, I thought it was really good I, yeah. and when i first yeah. heard it i liked it because it was kind of more catchy and i know some people didn't like it right away and they kind of because it's not exactly the genre of music that he's done before but I it's it. very catchy it sticks in your head like right away yeah, and I think, I mean, I don't know, the way that I interpret it is that the message of the song is that, like, love is love, basically. Let everybody, like, you know, be who they are and love who they love and love themselves and yes. all that good thing. I yeah. have to say, though, and I don't want to keep, like, harping back to the to the video, but it's kind of, we talked to AJ, Chinsley and I did, yes. uh, back in November? December sometime so. something like that yeah. 2020. it definitely wasn't 2021 and it was before we called Nick a fucker yes um, but which is our highest video if you want to go check <laughs> that out also on our YouTube page um I want to say some... November but yeah I want to say probably November it was whatever Dancing with the Stars was finishing right which is kind of around American Thanksgiving so it was probably I feel like, like yeah, yeah. I feel like yeah. that's accurate um he was like, oh, you guys are going to be blown away. Like, people are going to be talking about this video when they see me and blah, blah, blah. And I think I just, like, I just expected him to be in full drag. Same. I expected him to come out as trans himself or something like that or mm -hmm. bisexual or something, which I get he could very well be, but that's not what this was really focusing on. It was just, so I'm like, but it's not shocking to us because AJ does wear nail polish and he has yeah. worn makeup and stuff. Like and for so his wedding, he wore a dress. I was expecting him. him to wear a dress. And Same. I mm. was just like, okay. And so it's just kind of like, not that, okay. Not that I'm like disappointed or that no, I'm, yeah. I'm like yeah. AJ is who he is and that like, if he wasn't AJ and like, if it was Kevin, for example, if it was Brian, right. And he, they came out wearing that, you'd be like, Whoa, but like, yeah, yeah. he's kind of always like leaned a little bit towards like the feminine, feminine dress, yeah. like whatever. Sure. He never wore like full glam makeup or anything, but like, it, it just wasn't as shocking, I guess, as I thought it would be. But Same. still, like, who but even, yeah. For like being who he is and, you know, not giving a fuck what people think. And, yeah, exactly. Because I feel exactly. like, because if you guys have been seeing all those Facebook ads where Rochelle is helping him put on magnetic eyelashes, I don't know if anyone has seen no, those ones. No. Yeah. I see them all the time. So I was just like, oh, yeah, this is. So I was just thinking, okay, maybe it's going to be a little more like, whoa, but it's, it's I just AGB. Think, well, that's fun. Yeah. We've known AJ for so long in his style, and then he bigged it up so much that I was like expecting more. Mm -hmm. you know? I agree. But, like literally after we hung out, hung up the call, I said, like Diane and I were like, "Did AJ just come out to us? Like I don't know what's <laughs> happening right now." But unfortunately, we don't have a recording of that one because they didn't send it to us after. Oh, do we? We have audio recording of it. Oh, video. yeah. Mm. But I don't know. Could just we could animate it. I mean, yeah, but no. Have audio. I didn't record it while we were doing it. What? I don't really no. <laughs> Crazy. What? Um, but yeah, <laughs> we weren't <laughs> sent official video footage from Loop, so I don't know That's what right. that uh, entails. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I don't know. And then even like he was talking about Harry Styles in the dress, and I'm like, okay. And then so I was envisioning him coming out in this big, poofy, beautiful dress and stuff, like, like Dolly Parton, right? Okay. okay, that was it. That's what I was hoping. Everything for. was like very pink, and that was cool. Yeah, but like he was bubble baths, pink. I guess the yeah. shirt. I guess the shirt kind of seemed like. But that's an easy shirt, though. Yeah. 
I don't know. Our dad has that shirt in black. Yeah, like that was he, he doesn't thing. fit into it because when he first came from Italy in the seventies, he came with a la- a black lace shirt, and, and and my mom fell in love. Yeah, and it's oh, just yeah. hilarious because okay. I've never oh my dad looking like that ever. So I took the shirt out of the closet. I'm like, mom, what's this shirt from? She's like, oh, that's not my shirt. That's your dad's shirt. And I'm like, oh. I was like this, and I feel like as a child, we couldn't even fit into this shirt. So I was like, how the heck did dad, who was a quite large man, fit into this lace shirt? I don't know. But I felt there was a picture. But... Yeah, I remember. I remember. Yeah. So, you know, it's kind of like a 70s vibe, I guess. So maybe European. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. yeah I, I wish he took it to 100. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Like, respect and like i I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not disregarding any of it. I'm not even saying I don't like it. Like, love it. All pink. Yes, but yeah. I just kind of the way that he pitched it, I was like, oh, like I kind of just wish you took it all the way there. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, it was just like you know how like like Lydia was saying, like it was a little bit confusing in the beginning because it was kind of like, oh, he's with these two ladies, like what's going on? Is this like a threesome? Like what is it? Yeah, even if it was like the end was like, oh, they're trans, and then like he was like just for the end bit in full like dress drag everything. and also like i feel like the promo videos was all like the pink boas and stuff so i thought oh it's gonna be like full of pink boas and fun mm-hmm. and it was yeah, it was but it wasn't like i don't know i just i had a different vision in my mind i guess Me too. Mm-hmm. yeah you know i can see it yeah so totally uh respect him though and like love it for sure what he's doing Two what thumbs up all right. Uh, since we're on Backstreet, do you want to talk about Nick? Sure. Yes. All right. I'll skip. So, oh, oh, what? never mind. Uh, <laughs> can, well, I mean, everyone knows that he had a child. That's, that's what I meant. That's what we're oh, talking about. Okay, okay. So, do you but, have something new? Well, like, you know I'm wondering, <laughs> I'm wondering, like, if there's a, is there, like, conspiracies happening already? Like, or am I the first to start the conspiracy? What's the conspiracy? You okay, you tell the news first, and then I'll tell the conspiracy. Okay. okay. So I think we ha- we did mention at one point that uh, Nick and his wife Lauren were expecting a third child. Surprise, um, baby! Surprise, baby! Um, she has the most children now. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's right. But but it also puts the total backstreet number of children at 10, which I kind of love because it's like a nice round number, like nine. Yes, an even number, woo! You know? You make they can split at two limits. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Four girls now, so. They can double the money. Anyways. Six and um, four. four. Four and one. Or four, five. Oh, maybe, okay. Anyways. Just putting together bands in their heads. Um... <laughs> So uh, the baby was born on April 21st. Uh, If you don't follow Nick on Twitter or any of the social medias, um, there were some complications at the time that we're recording this. We don't know what those complications were. We don't know what the name of the baby is. Um, It's a girl, in case that wasn't clear from what we were talking about earlier. and yeah. follow us on social media to find out because we will retweet the articles when we find out the baby's well, name. There was an article, but like the article said nothing. And I was like, this is stupid. Like, yeah, like, well, not- he was on Twitch today saying that he he'll reveal awful. the baby's name soon. Also, he has decided he's going to do a lot more stuff on Twitch. Yes, I know. Besides playing video games, he's going to like for everyday me. life, like giving his other daughter a banana today and <laughs> also making waffles mm-hmm. but then he that's why he, he changed the, the name to nick carter yeah um yeah don't don't uh i wouldn't uh, get my hopes up for anything too exciting yeah um, true true i'm just curious is this baby is gonna have the same middle name as the other two children oh they have to probably like, it's rain r-e-i-g-n like rain yes so from game of thrones right well, it's like kind of like royalty, like reigning over, oh. like like how bad would it be if the first two have it, but then the third one doesn't? Yes. Like, oh, we didn't really yeah. like. It. Yeah. Well, okay, this is where the this is where the conspiracy okay, theory comes in. Okay, here we go. Do you think it's like a Quasimodo baby? Think she's got what? a little hunch, hunchback or something? Okay. What's the no. what's the complication? Jaundice? 
I don't know. I yeah, like it could be it literally missing anus. Oh my <laughs> god! Missing? Let it go. Let it go, Lydia. It's, saying, it's a possibility here. Oh we god. don't know. We don't know, Just guys. Just a brief recap for anyone who has not met Lydia before. <laughs> Um, she says weird things and someone that we know was born without an anus. Thank you. And this has been Lydia's fear. My entire life. Her entire life is that this is, I'm like, I don't, we've never met any other person who was not born with an anus. The doctors are able to do surgery on him. They created an anus. And, but here's the thing though. Mom was like, oh no, that's what the story wasn't real. I'm like, no, no. I swear she to didn't God. say the story wasn't real. She said your interpretation of the story was And then wrong. Nona's like, yeah, they make it to Annis in the hospital. And I was like, I knew it. I knew it. So I'm just saying, hopefully this baby has okay, an anus. If they don't, we have, you know, we've I, come a long way. I think they, they have, have the, that baby was born at least 25 years ago. So really? I feel like the anus, they could probably laser an anus. That was before the iPhone, you know? So. Yeah, exactly. So okay. I'm just wondering what the complications were. I'm thinking were. it's probably something more like jaundice or mm. a lot of times they don't release babies from the hospital if they because you lose weight as soon as you're born, like they lose some water weight. Oh, yeah. And they have to get to a certain weight before they can release them. Okay. So those are the two most common reasons why babies are still in hospital for several days. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the and baby was only there for two or three days and then she was released. So mm -hmm. the thing about jaundice and a few people keep mentioning it. It, that's not really true anymore that they keep babies around for that. Like, it was true so, when we were babies. Yeah. Like, I had jaundice when I was a baby. And same. You had same. to stay, like, under the light and all that stuff. But now, apparently, they're just like, put your baby in the sunlight. It's fine. Well, yeah. it depends yeah. on how severe it's Because Olivia's, was it her, her son? He had to go in this, like, crazy, like, incubator thing. Like, it was, like, blue light LED stuff. Oh, okay. He was there for, like, two days. Because I guess it was more a severe case, but then yes, they do say to like put your baby in the window, be like the Lion King. I don't know. <laughs> so I think that's probably what it is, but I'm sure they'll or unless they had to, because I feel like if the baby had to have some sort of surgery, they wouldn't be out in two days, right? No, no, it, so, it definitely. Well, they were. He well, said minor, days. right? Digital, so. digital anus. <laughs> I'm just saying, if if it is, I called it first. <laughs> So okay. Lydia, if the child would be, I want to do that now. I'm gonna I give you. To I'll give you fifty dollars. I'm not giving you the other part of that bargain. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, okay. that was just my. That was just my. I think it was there longer than two days, though. I think it was because, three. Wasn't it? I think no, it might have been three or four days. Because the baby was born on the 21st, which was a Wednesday, and they didn't come home till the Monday. So that's like five days. Oh, okay. Is it the Monday? Oh, I think him being so secretive time. is what's going to make Saturday, all the... Sunday, Monday? Like four and a half? There was, I like, he four. checked in pretty much every day, but then there was one day where he didn't check in for, like, a day, and everybody was, like, losing their minds, and they're like, is the baby okay? Well, this is the thing. Like, this is why the conspiracy theories are happening. You don't give us enough information, and then I have to make my own conclusions. The so other thing is that they were concerned even from prior to the baby being born about oh. there possibly being complications just because like uh they had lost babies before and you know lauren's not exactly like in her 20s anymore How you know she? she's 37 oh i think after 35 you're considered geriatric geriatric yes yeah. it's ridiculous geriatric. but whatever uh, I just got a piece of mail today telling me to get my shingles vaccine. And I was like, excuse me? Oh my God, no, no. And then even in the literature, it says for people over the age of 50. And I was Ow. like, I'm sorry. Am I over the age of 50? Because I'm not. So thank wow. you. Wow. Ouch. Thank you. I feel sent like that junk mail to me. Um, yes. But yes, anyways. And then there was like a little bit because my, my friend's niece was born um with heart defects so she's been she's been posting updates about her niece for the longest time so she posted another one about the baby saying like i hope she's gonna be okay or whatever and then somebody responded is this nick and lauren's baby oh I and then it I became like this whole thing and everybody were like posting it in like south american groups and stuff so she had to retweet and said this is my niece. This is not Nick and Lauren's baby, just so you know. And then Nick's like, I'm praying for your uh, your niece or whatever. But then everyone's like, oh, it's a but it became this like whole thing. And I was like, this is where people on the internet who are me. nuts That's me. and like to come up with their own, oh, I don't have any information. So let me make it like, why would a random account post a picture of Nick and Lauren's baby 
before Nick and Lauren posted it. Like maybe they and then yeah. I was, like, it was a nurse going this like baby doesn't look a couple days old. This baby looks and they, you she's know? like, Yeah, she's not a couple days old. She was born at the beginning of April. Like she Yeah, knows, that so. was weird. I saw that. That was weird. Yeah. So Okay, if you were a nurse and you know, TMZ happened to be waiting outside, I'd be like <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> And then Sorry, you want to get money? I know, I know I'd be fired, money. but still, I know. But that's not only would you exactly. be fired, like whatever, but there's also like HIPAA laws and things like What's that. HIPAA law. HIPAA. What's a HIPAA? HIPAA. <laughs> HIPAA. It's, I don't know, some oh. health law. Is that in America? Yes. It's pretty it's much only... saying that you're not allowed to Take give information. Babies. No, not sell babies. That's okay. celebrity oh. babies. It's about normal human beings that are getting medical treatment. You're not allowed to divulge information. I was just joking as a reference. Please don't sue me. But, you know. No one is going to sue you right now. Oh, my God. I'm just being a dick. Okay. I'm just no being shitting. a dick. Anyways, was she naturally? I said no shitting. And I'm like, that's not the... <laughs> I got it. Oh, I didn't even mean that. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how this this boy band podcast has gone to digital anuses. So can we please move on to anything else? Do you want to guess what the baby's name is? <laughs> no, digital no. digital anus. No, room. no. Okay, okay. It's, it's probably like a weird. Okay, yeah. Let's all guess the name and then we'll all. Okay, so the current children are uh, Odin. Yes. Sirsha. Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Shamali. 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 Okay. Who, what's your guess? So, um, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say after that. Well, it's gonna be a unique so name. So they kind of like um, like Norse gods, or like so. Odin was named after like a Norse god. Maybe it could be like a John so Snow Snor- type of name, or Gemini. <laughs> You know what? I think they should snow, just name Snow Rain Carter. Snow oh, Rain that's Carter. A, that's a good one. I like that I'm one. I'm going to go with Chinzia Rain Carter. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Chinzia is moon goddess in Italian. There you go. D, what's your what's your guess? I don't know. Come on. Think of something cool. It's it's going to be something. I know weird. it's a girl thing, but I guess like. Sai Rain. I was joking around that its yeah. name was going to be Rain Rain, like R A I N, and then R E I. That's yeah, funny. Yeah. That's funny. If they uh, take Synclinica or Calaxia, oh that's it. God. That's <laughs> it. That's what's my another, name. What's another uh, character name in Game of Thrones? Whatever right. one of those names are. Oh, one of those. Khaleesi. Khaleesi. Oh, maybe Khaleesi. Okay. That's a good one, actually. That's a cute name. I feel like you see Rain. For them. Too many kids already named that. Oh, I'm gonna re- re- I'm gonna retract my schmoople and <laughs> schmalis or mally or something. I'm gonna, no, schmapple, schmapple. I'm gonna retract schmapple and go with Khaleesi because that's probably more likely. I think schmoople schmapple. See, I think probably Khaleesi, out there. Yeah, I feel like Game of Thrones. They're gonna like do another one of those. Okay. All right. All right. Diane. Black status. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, good times. Indeed. Uh, uh, can we talk about uh, drag news? Because you mentioned drag earlier. Sure. sure. Okay. Because I don't know if people saw, but like the recent season of RuPaul's Drag Race had Tina Burner, who was a member of a boy band. So that was something. And then Do you also, what this boy band's name was? Uh, Fire Farts. I don't think no. the band's name was Fire Okay, Farts. I don't know. I'll have to we take We tried to look it up earlier when the season first started, and there was very, I think they had maybe one song. It was obviously not a popular boy band. Uh, um, so it looks like she was in Fifth Ring. Sorry, he, she was in Fifth Ring. So anyways, but also at the end, like the season finale. Fifth Ring, Fire Farts, that's close. That's close. Oh, yeah, you. I, if you had a ring around your ass, mm-hmm. There you go. Oh, exactly. there you go. Full circle right there, ain't it? So there you go. Exactly. Um, but Tina Burner, she like her thing was like she like dressed up as like like Flames? fire. Yeah, it was just like you know like orange, red, yellow. And you're like, oh my god. Anyway, she oh, was she out. She, change? Did she stick with the color palette the entire time? The entire time. And Ooh, then when they the, actually don't like that, they didn't. Surprise, surprise. Okay. She got voted off. However, 
uh, at the finale, then she started changing her wigs to be more brunette. And then people were just like, where's the Tina Burner colors? And you're just like, oh, my God. Anyways, no. She can't people. win. You can't win. I know. Please. But then also. Huh? Now they'll invite AJ to, like, be a guest judge on RuPaul's Drag Race. Wouldn't that Hopefully. be cool? That would, that would, be, that would be cool. I would love that. Anyways, but sorry. Also, one more thing. Um, okay, at the okay, so this season was like the I felt like it was like the longest season of Drag Race ever of all time, mostly because it got interrupted by Corona, and they were able to like find a way to like work through it, like with like constant testing, like rapid testing and all that stuff, and like you know the crew had to be separated from the talent and all that stuff. Anyways, so um, I feel like in it, even one episode was like a documentary about itself like dealing well, with coronavirus, right? Like it was just like, it was just like something. Anyway, so- Wasn't one of the people also trans on this show? On this yes, show? yes. Uh, got Mick was trans. Yeah. And then also at the end, each queen got to do their own music video. They each got like enough, uh, you know, funding to, to do their own music. Even if they were like voted off. Oh, they all got to do it. So Joey J, who was in a romantic relationship, we think, with- um, with uh, No, uh, with Candy- she uh so joy j made made a music video of i want you back and he dressed up as every in sync member Aww. and it was super cute and then he was also that dressed the in video drag as you well. shared that is the video i shared yes yeah, so Isn't i was just like that lance came into lance came in at the end and it was because the guy lance joy j was, in sync. yeah so joy j was a bartender and it's just like oh stop and then lance would be like stop dreaming and get back to work and they're like okay mr Matt. it was just like it was cute yeah. it was cute um yeah so and then also i guess that may talk about a lance news do we already talk about this um we didn't so yes. back in november ish probably maybe, uh there was a picture going around of lance joey and chris together and we're just oh. like oh what are they doing together oh. and they made like that tiktok like then and now and then it was like them and then they had a pineapple, pineapple. For chris. yeah that was cute um but yeah so anyway so we were trying to figure out what that was and it turns out that they are in a progressive commercial oh really yes yeah like auto so insurance? like Flo and mm-hmm. the guy and then they're like this is the commercial where nothing happens and then the lady's like well no for the lady was like okay cool isn't this where something quirky is supposed to happen and they're like no like it's been a rough year with the pandemic so nothing's happening blah 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 they're like oh okay this is awkward and then the doorbell rings and Three fifths of in sync are there, so it's Joey, Lance, and Chris, and they're like, "Not now, in sync." And they're like, "But we're here." They're like, "Read the room," and I was like, uh, "The room would like to see more in sync, so please bring it over." So, Me too. Yes. Yes. Um, and then Lance is also in a bunch of projects. He bought, uh, like, he bought a, uh, a nightclub, uh, like, a, like a very gay nightclub. So he's gonna make it into the best gay nightclub. The biggest. It's the the biggest. biggest gay nightclub of all time. And also he's in a show called The Unicorn, which is about um, Unicorn finding, Hunters. Unicorn Hunters, which is about finding amazing investments that people can invest in, which I really like that idea because it's like because like it's like kind of like crowdfunding, but is like Is that why they call it Unicorn Hunters? So yeah. in the business term, it's it's like finding like the next great big business IPO I think, or, or something. yeah it's something like, something like I don't that know. There was, it was a lot of words about business I'm how sorry. is it different from shark tank though or like well, dragon's it's, den yeah it's yeah it's kind of like they take like a startup and then they and then you the people get to invest in it so instead of the, instead of like the shark or the lion's den or whatever the hell they call themselves it's america you know what I mean? um so like instead of being like i am the owner of busted pizza and i think your idea is worth marriage i will give you five thousand dollars for ten percent of your company right well like <laughs> but like this idea is kind of like okay i'm like an idiot at home i'm like oh this sounds like a great idea i'll give you five thousand dollars for thing okay so it says this is picking your <laughs> So the Unicorn Hunters will allow, will feature Steve Wozniak and allow viewers to invest in pre-IPO companies. Yes, and this is all... So the series will spotlight yeah. up-and-coming growth companies looking to hit the one billion unicorn evaluation. Cool. Like oh, big businesses. Oh. Big businesses. So I wish them not all... like startups necessarily. No, so they're companies that are going to go public, I guess, and then... I don't know, it's investing in stuff. I think it's a cool idea because yeah. like it's sim- similar to like Dragon's Dang, Dragon's Dank, Dragon's, <laughs> Dragon's Den or Shark Tank. There you go. That's what I'm trying to say. There you go. Um, 
sometimes up together there you go exactly That's sometimes just show. being on the show is yeah. is enough to like raise your star level right yeah. because like mm-hmm. even if you're like they're like oh this is idea shit you you shit you know what I mean? Because you're just like, I got a pen that can smell farts, right? And then, <laughs> what is your? I just say no. I have not been farting today. No, you no, like no, what? what is your you I'm making up, but I'm just making fart? up a story. I'm making up a story that I made up a pen that smell farts, and then they'll be like, Kevin O'Leary, be like, oh, you're shit, fuck off, right? And then and then, but then someone at home is gonna be like, I want a pen that smells farts. I'm going to buy this thing, and then I, the business owner, is like, <laughs> I lost, <laughs> but I really won. Fuck this. Fuck this guy. It's my point. So okay. Excellent. I like the idea, Lance. Keep going with it, is what I'm trying to there say. There was a little bit of backlash for that because apparently unicorn hunter is a different term in the um in polyamorous relationships. In, in those communities. But, yeah. Uh, so then some people were like, they're not the only people that use the term unicorn. And then it was just like a whole big thing. Yeah. But yeah. anyways, that nice. show is coming out. Oh, the circle. Yes. Is that what you were going to talk about? That is what I was going to talk about. Okay, good. Okay. Yay. Um, so um if you didn't he- uh, if you don't know the circle is a reality tv show on netflix um and i guess lance was a fan and then like before the new season started um there was like rumors going around and things that like lance was gonna be on the circle um if you don't know how the circle works and you've never watched it basically um they have all these different people And they're all in like one building, but like separate apartments. Um, And they only interact uh, with each other through the circle, which is just like they use the internet, essentially. It's like a social media platform. It's kind of like a social media thing. And so um, basically you can catfish. You can pretend, because people are never going to see you, you can play as yourself and like use your own pictures. Or you can play as someone else um and so there's no video in case yeah it's just images yeah yes yes. um do you understand i do but i just feel like sometimes you don't understand when these things are i would have said a weird face or i would have asked yeah so it's text messaging and pictures you can send from your previous time agreed all right so um yeah basically uh unfortunately it's not lance um it is lance's assistant uh who is Lisa Giggles Del Campo yes Giggles, interesting Giggles. she laughs and, a lot you know she she is playing as Lance so she is uh pretending to be Lance she's been his assistant for a very long time like yes decades. her quote on the show was I know Lance Bass better than Lance Bass knows Lance Bass <laughs> yes so, good point That's true. um she is playing as him um, I am not fully up to date. Um, is it all released at once or are they like weekly episode type things? They release like four or I think four episodes at a time. Um, That's good. So you can binge. I've definitely watched the first four and I think maybe I watched the fifth one. I don't know. Sometimes I lose track of the amount that I watch when I watch them all in a sequence. Mm-hmm. so did she start off in the first episode or she, she was really? not no okay. but um she's on by the second episode i believe okay um so people get voted off and new people can come in yes so the way that it works is that similar to sort of social media uh they have to rank people based on like what their impression of them is um and if you are the top two ranked people you become an influencer yeah. and then like, sign me up for this show sign my ass up. and then the influencers get to block someone from the circle <gasps> um oh, get out so one person was blocked from the circle and then lance came in ah, i saw ooh. a preview Some people said they they oh my god the worst part they didn't, they didn't know in sync or <gasps> what did they say? the worst they part was that so someone yeah so someone got kicked out and then like it was like nighttime or whatever and they were like basically going to sleep and then they're like oh you know and they showed they just showed lance's like picture and then they it just said lance right it didn't say lance bass everyone only has their first name Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so some people immediately there's this one guy he's playing as a younger person but he's older he's like 
in his 50s or 60s, I think. I think maybe yeah. 50s. And he was dying. It was so cute. He was like, oh my God, Lance! And then um, when like Lance came in, he was just like, oh my God. And then he's like, okay, I'm going to message Lance Bass. Like, don't freak out. Like, just, you know, you're not Aww. me or whatever his name is. You're, I forget what his character's name, River is his like guy's name. He's like, you're River. You got to act cool, right? So then he messages him, right? And he's like, oh, uh, have have a lot of people been messaging you, Lance, you know, like whatever. And he's like, no, no, you're the first one. Cause he like legitimately was. And he was like, oh my God, I'm Lance Bass is like the first one. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> that's funny. It was like very adorable. Um, and I'm just like, oh, this poor man believes it's really Lance. <laughs> um, maybe they'll, they'll create maybe like they'll... a love triangle. What love with line. Who? With who? Well, like fake Lance and River. Maybe they'll be like, it was you. <gasps> I knew it was you. Well, who will be the third in the triangle, though? I think the she host? means Lance. I don't even know. No, Lance isn't involved. <laughs> I don't understand. I'm very curious to see how Lisa will do because Lisa's t like, she's very cunning. She reads a lot of books. Like, she's very like it, but she also is a, lot, a very anxious person. So I'm curious to see the if good that thing anxiety. Was uh, so he came in. Some some people knew who he was. They were like, "What's Lance Bass doing here?" Some people are very skeptical that it's actually him. They're like, "Yeah, right. Lance Bass is actually here." Like, blah, blah. and then there was one girl. Um, if you are a, a Netflix binger and you watched Too Hot to Handle, uh, she was on that show. Hmm. Um, and uh, she had no idea who he was and then some people were like oh i think that's somebody like whatever and then in his bio he didn't he like it says in sync or whatever and then she's like what's n-s-y-n-c uh, <laughs> gross and then how she, how are you living under a rock and not know who it she's like, is she's only 21 to be fair Come on. Um, okay. Google. Google him. And then she's like, she's never heard at his any profile. And it says like entertainment industry or like whatever. And she's like, oh, it looks like he could be in a boy band. And the host is like, you think? Oh my God. Oh my That's God. That's funny. Or a stripper. Entertainment, baby. What is he, Jeff Timmons? <laughs> there you go. I know. <laughs> then, Finally. This is the part I thought was weird. Okay. So do they see the host at all or no? Or that's no. all done afterwards? So there's just... no there's no host. The host oh. is the circle. It's like yeah. a there's just a voiceover person who does like commentary. Yeah. Mm. Are they, they like a robot sound like I am the circle. I'm going to kill you. There's no voice. It <laughs> just, there's sounds and then there's like text. It says like alert or okay. it says like so and so has invited you to a uh, chat or whatever. Yes. Digital get yeah. down, Chinzia. Oh Lord Jesus. Lance wouldn't have it any other way. There you go. There you go. Exactly. Um, the good thing for for Lisa is that they did another one of these rankings, and then people, you know, whatever. Um, and they said because Lance just joined that he was he wasn't able to be eliminated in this round since so he gets a new. Right. So she was like safe, but next week she could be kicked out. No. So no. they on like Instagram or like how do you people get likes on this thing? What are you talking about? The circle. It's them internally. It's, not, it's it's only the like eight people or whatever who are playing. It's like pre-recorded. Yeah, but I just don't get it. Like, so like they have to like the post. I thought like the whole point no of the circle post. is to no, get no, popular. No, no They're just it's a chat program. What? See, that's the confused face I was talking okay, about. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. I think you have to watch it to really understand. All they're doing is talking, like messaging each other. So it's there's no like they can see each other's profile, but their profile is just one photo, their age, their relationship status, where they're from, and then like a, a brief bio. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. I thought it was like an Instagram feed that they have to like keep making content. No, to, like, no, they just have popular. to talk to the people. And then they just talk to each other. Are there challenges and stuff? Like um they good? do like they do like games and stuff apparently. Like they were doing truth or dare and they were doing like 
Uh, there was something else where they had to be like, who's more, who do you think is uh, this fact is about, right? And they'd be like, something, whatever, you know. Uh, one of them was like, uh, my partner's mom walked in on us when I was losing my virginity. Who do you think this is about? Right? And then oh, they okay. put the two faces and everybody had to vote. Like, okay. You know. It but sounds interesting. Yeah, it be interesting. It's kind of like, it's kind of like Big Brother if you watch Big Brother. Um, I, I wanted to be on it, with those, and I got to be on it, but you've never watched. Yes, okay. I don't mean the people in this room. I mean the people who are listening. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I watch Big Brother. Um, are you, you ever go on it? Ago? What's that? Would you ever go on it? Oh, I would love to, but. Um, I just don't think that with the current job that I have, that that's like feasible. I was going to go on it. And then I did some research and then they're like, oh, statistically only men actually win at this game. Cause women like, I guess become, it's becomes like, a, a they become very catty. They, they, it's like, there's like a mental oh, gymnastics yeah. thing that like men are just like, Whoosh. that, uh, apparently that's what makes men more successful at winning big brother. You but- definitely have to, and I think it's kind of going to be a factor here in the circle as well. Um, you kind of have to take your emotions out of it at a certain point, because in order to win, all the other people have to be evicted except for you, Mm. right? So you, at a certain point, have to think strategically and have to be like, this person is my friend, but I can't beat them, so they they need to go. Mm, Yeah, exactly. And (laughs) women tend to just get more emotionally invested and be like, but I don't want my friend to go, you know? Yeah, I guess men are more cutthroat, like, fuck you, buddy. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I'll see you later for beer, right? And However, like, I you. So, gotta make that yeah. Money. yeah. I mean, I understand winning means money, but for you, winning, winning means could just be yeah. yes and power, and <laughs> being on the show could be winning enough because yeah. it get you an audience. True, that's true. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And Big Brother Canada is much more inclusive than the U.S. version. Yay! Chubby people auditioning. Yay! <laughs> yes. All right. Next. Next one. When the next one comes around, I'll get rid of there. All right. I'll give you tips. I feel like I know how to play this game because I've right. so many seasons. Um, get better at lying is ah, shit. number one. All right. Oh, Already right, evicted immediately. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the dimple gives it away. Oh, well. Are you in an alliance with that person, Lydia? No, <laughs> me <Ooh>. alliance. <laughs> talk to you later. Yeah, your facial expressions would give you away. Yeah. That's See, that's point. why the circle might be good for you because we don't. It's true, actually. Face. That's a good point. I think that's only an American thing, though. Oh, uh, the UK. The the they have versions. They have like a UK version. They have a Brazil version. They have a freaking Spain version. Mm, they don't have any version yet. I was gonna say space. I'm like, oh my god, I would I love a reality a show space in space. Version. There's not enough people. No, no, there. Spain. Who peed in my bag? And I'm like, oh no, who's me? Okay. <laughs> Who <laughs> ate my dehydrated cookie? Oh, who is me? <laughs> Who stole my oxygen? <laughs> <laughs> okay, boy, bad news. Okay. Back to boy, boy bad. Back to boy bandery. Um, what else? <laughs> Uh, sad news about um, Donnie Wahlberg's mom. Yeah, uh, passed away. Yeah, uh, recently, that was really sad. What did they die of? You had dementia, I think, Oof. as well. Oh, yeah, I don't think you die from dementia. Well, you can, like, yeah. No, no, I'm just saying. I think she had dementia as well. Maybe just old age, cancer, COVID. She definitely was uh, an advanced age. Okay. Um, they didn't really say what she died of, but her health had been declining for some time. Uh, uh, so it, well, I don't think it was like a shock. Like, I don't think it was sudden, you mm-hmm. know. Um, she had been seen like less and less on, on the show on Wahlburgers. Um, There's a Wahlburgers show? Yes. Yeah, there used to be a ah, I'm show. sorry, how do you not know this? I just know about the tater toss. I didn't realize there's a show. There was a whole show. It was so Oh, I could have sworn you knew about it. No. I what was it on the... Netflix? No, it's it on was A&E. 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 I used to watch the, I used to binge watch because it was always on the weekend. 
Oh, Donnie I, was on I'm it. I'm too poor. I don't have. So Chef the pa- Paul is the chef guy. He was on it. Mark Wahlberg was on episodes. I just... Alma was on episodes. I don't watch it. I'm sorry. That's exciting yeah. though. All right, I'll have to. Do they, do they talk about the tater tots on the show? Even... Yes, Lydia. Yeah, they talk about okay, tater tots on the show. Okay. Anyways, I'm sorry. Oh, no. I I actually never I watched I think them. I watched like one or two episodes. Watched it consistently. It was it was very entertaining actually. It was more about the family than about the rest. I was going to say yeah. I think I watched them on a plane once. Maybe. But, um. Who knows? Maybe they give the secret recipe for ah! two to dip. Do you think so? They're like this is just for Lydia. I don't recall but that. She doesn't have but... cable. <laughs> Did you watch most episodes though? Yeah, on the weekend I would binge it. Oh, okay. It was very entertaining. So what was it basically about? Just kind of like the restaurant life or their family? Or restaurant, what? music. Uh, one of their like friends wanted to be in the music business, so they, Mark Wahlberg would help him out. I don't know why you would go to Mark Wahlberg, but sure. Yeah, I, feel like I saw an episode where like Mark was golfing and he wanted burgers flown to him or something. Am I crazy? <laughs> No, that's. Maybe. I feel like that's an episode. Yeah, it was very it's like entourage, like yeah, yes, yeah. Well, you know, entourage was based on Mark Wahlberg's life, yes, right? Yes. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Oh wow! I didn't know that. Surprise! Wow! Surprise! We're learning so much stuff in this episode today. My and God. also the brothers got like really much closer during this time. They um, were like close before, but like even more so. Oh, that's nice. And they, they had brought another, their family together. And mm. they had another restaurant too called Al- Alma Nova. It was more of like, I want to yes. say more of a, it's an upscale restaurant. I want to say Italian. Yes. Paul was the also, chef there. Yes. Before Wahlburgers. Ah. So he uh, like created that one in honor of mom. So. Ah. Yeah. And there was a lot of nice tributes for Alma online and stuff. A lot mm-hmm. of blockheads. That's so. sweet. Mm-hmm. There was like some good stories yeah. and stuff that she's like with fans and stuff over the years. So, mm-hmm. oh, and uh, Donnie was on Dan- uh, Danny's like cooking show or something on YouTube. Yes, and they were oh. talking about different memories of Betty, uh, Danny's mom, and Alma. They were very close together. Aww. Apparently, uh, back in the day. And obviously, um, Danny's mom passed away from cancer years ago. So, so apparently, Alma would take care of uh, Betty. When she was sick, she Aww. would like always like drive her to some appointments and stuff. So that was interesting to hear. Wow! Oh, that's so nice that they were close. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then I think it was uh, Elma soup that Danny made. So that was on YouTube. Aww, that's sweet. We have talked about possibly making yes. some of uh, Danny's recipes. So I think we're gonna do that once stay at home order is lifted and we're allowed to see each other again in person. Yeah. So hopefully. Yes. May twentieth is the hopefully is the current date. So <laughs> fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah, I'm in the summer. Like if you're if you're a fan of Danny's show and you've watched like um, all of his episodes or a bunch of his episodes, like and you think you have any recommendations for what we should make, let us know. Let us know. We uh, we uh, episode ninety one was our first and only cooking episode. Uh, it was the how we eats episode, and we kind of cooked along with the recipe that Howie um, created, Howie's chef friend created. It was wasn't the greatest. So trash. hopefully Danny's food is a little bit better. But mm-hmm. Danny's been posting about his food for years. Like he's always like his healthy cooking for his daughters and stuff like that. So so it will be definitely be interesting to try out some of those. Yeah. When the time comes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Indeed. Um, I think that's all I wanted to mention. Did you guys have anything else that you any other boy? I don't know if it's like big deal, but Bailey is also having a concert in May. Aww, cute. So Bailey is Brian from the back. I don't know. Son. He uh, he's been doing some concerts, so he has that coming up. He's- oh, speaking of concerts, O Town. Ah, O Town yeah, has been O-Town, yeah. doing a bunch of concerts too. So they have a few in um, in Ohio. Um, they have one in Nashville. They want to. I want to say one in New York area. That's the one where uh, Chris is going to? Chris is going to the one in Xenia, Ohio. So he's... Ho- Xenia. I don't know. It starts with an X. Okay. X-E-N-I-A. Xenia. Uh, so that one is kind of... It's um, obviously Chris is hosting. Mark McGrath from Sugar Ray is going to be there. 
O Town, and then uh, the remaining member of LFO is. And Ryan Cabrera is not coming to that one, right? I don't think so. I think it's I just don't Oathtown. think so. So yeah, so and the tickets are very reasonably priced. They're like twenty five dollars. Oh, that's so reasonable. Uh, Chris priced. is doing something in Illinois, um, and it's like he's he's singing the national anthem at a. I want to say minor league baseball game. I looked up the tickets. Very inexpensive. Five to ten dollars. Oh, that's so good. And if you want the thirty dollar VIP tickets, you get like unlimited food and booze. <gasps> oh like, my beer, god. But what a still. steal. And I was just like, true. could you imagine that here? Because like Never. here at a ball game, <laughs> a, one beer is like fifteen dollars. Yeah. Like it's really yeah. legit. Ain't nothing and, happened like that here. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it's like a nineties trivia night sometime in June. Oh. So that was cool. Actually, if you want any really good in sync updates, um, subscribe to Mission In Sync. Because yeah. they have, they send out a monthly newsletter that kind of goes over things that highlights people. And then it has a section where they go through what each of the guys is doing. And so that's pretty cool. They're so, very thorough. They're very thorough. Yeah, it's they have lots of details team. about what they're doing. You can go, we have an episode with them. We did interview them. I don't remember what episode, but look for the Mission in Sync episode. And uh, It was like, like three out of the like many, many people that work. Yeah. Yeah. I think they that. said something like, 20 or 30 people work with Mission in Sync, and obviously mm-hmm. their mission is to get in sync back together. Please. But you know, and every time I mean, I don't know, if I noticed, but I'm wearing an in sync shirt today. I did know I was gonna mention yeah. they have it at Old Navy. Shut up. Yeah. This is that old navy, yeah. So like what? you know, wow. Maybe a month like, or two ago. I was How much say, like, was recently? it? What's that? How much was it? Was How it much? On Twenty or thirty, I think. 20. It was like twenty-five, I think. Yeah, Canadian. <laughs> it was probably love. I don't know, uh, but they had like a lot of um, licensed shirts. Like they had friends ones, and I don't know, Saved by the Bell and things, nineties things. Nineties. Ooh, things. nice. The kids on TikTok, they all suddenly think nineties mm-hmm. fashion is cool. Yay! Um, so Woo! I think, you know, they're wearing it like in an ironic way, but I'm like, ooh, what a sink shirt. <laughs> Finally, this, my other ones are getting I right? did not purchase it because it would not fit. Uh, I know, I know. So the, their plus size is very like... Uh, their, <laughs> very, their plus sizes <laughs> were non-existent at that particular store. Uh, I, I, that oh, sucks. Yeah. They have it online. They have it online. Oh, I was going to say, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, okay, Old Navy, they're like, uh, no fetties in store, gross. But, like, online, they're just like, come in. We have 3X. We have 4X. Don't tell anyone, though. Shh, shh, shh. I need to see. Maybe it. they have this online. You don't you know. probably have it online, perhaps. Um, oh, I wanted to quick do a quick thing about the Jonas Brothers. So there's been a little, there was an article recently about Frankie Jonas, who was yes, yes. called a lot of fans and the boys themselves called him the bonus Jonas, right? Because Aww. he's a lot younger than the other ones. And I always thought bonus to be like in a positive way, like, oh, you get an extra boat, like another Jonas. It's a Jonas, bonus, bonus. Jonas. Yeah. Um, that is not how Frankie took it. He was very offended by that. It affected him a lot. So his brothers have like apologized to him privately about this and they stopped calling him and referring to him as that and they asked if the fans please don't refer so to that's why Jonas so when anymore. he did this thing they've come out again just to be like hey you know stop referring to frankie like that so yeah but it's amazing he's a star now yes he has a really creepy mustache though I'm a... he's a tiktok star has so... he gone viral i think yes. so and he's also he talks a lot about like mental health as well and like the, his depression struggles and everything and it's like very real and it's funny and like I don't know. It's like, it's like relatable. You know what I mean? Like he's, I like him. I like, like after I read that article, I think it was mm-hmm. like bizarre. Or yeah. Uh, see it. Maybe or, I don't or know. something. It was like, sure. it was, yeah, it was a great article about him. And I'm just like, yeah. All right. This You're is just like Frank cool. is a good guy. Like, yeah, but, but it obviously was much harder because he was, I want to say like six or 10 years younger. Like he's substantially younger than the other brothers. Yeah. So that must be hard to see that like your family is like pushing them and stuff and you're just like twiddly like hanging around, right? Mm-hmm. And then he was talking about how he had gone to college and his buddy's like, you need to tell everybody that you're like Jonas' brother because then like you can get like Lady. laid and like everybody will like you. But then it turned out that everybody was making fun of him for yeah. calling him. So then he like ended up leaving that school and going to a different one, getting a better group of friends and stuff. So And like he went to something like astrophysicist or something. Like he did something, something like totally like out there, but like he loves it. And you're just yeah. like, mm. And it's just oh, like, nice. good freaky, like any, um, 
in the article he was hanging out at joe and sophie's apartment yeah they were at a different one and they were getting yeah. ready to sell it so he was just living there and hanging out in new york so. yeah it's like, oh, that's so, so cool i wish i had rich parents who let me live in a new york apartment uh. but anyways <laughs> bonus jonas is offensive so do not call frankie bonus yes jonas. in that's future just call him just frankie call jonas. him frankie, frankie. yeah exactly so that is his name mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. uh I'm trying to think of any of the other boy bands anything big going on um, um Backstreet's no. just chilling Backstreet Boys are apparently going in to record the Christmas album. Oh, they keep yes. saying that in I want to say May or June. Yes, they're supposed to it's, go in. It's and record. currently May when this episode is coming out. So can that be May? I it's think it ended May, May. May. End of May. Yes. So I'll believe it when I see it. But yes, I am. You know, kudos to them. Cautiously optimistic. Cautiously optimistic. Fingers that crossed that it's true. A Christmas album. Yes. That would be nice. Need. Like, and you know that it would be like fucking gold. Of course. Like, because mm-hmm. like, mm, they got that harmony and they already have like the already existing fan base and stuff like that. And then like, you know, there's just like, you know, the people who are like, the, you know, the W network during, no, the Hallmark network. They're like, oh, I'm drinking my cocoa and listening to Christmas songs. So like, there's always like those people. So it's going to do well. Just make it, please. Yeah. And also, make can you so. just make it like, I know, I know it's been a while. Wait, never mind. They're not going to do that. Never mind. Okay. I was going to say, because like, remember when existence. they used to make scented CDs? Do you remember this? No. Oh, no, I do not. No. I don't think I I've remember. ever, ever what heard did of they a make it? Really? No. Okay. Okay. Let me explain. Was it the smell of your computer burning? No, no, no. Um, okay. So, so there was this like comedy troupe that, that I used to follow. Their name was Mega64. Kenny still loves them. Yes. Um, but uh, when they, like they're the American troop right so when they came to canada they made um they made a dvd like a special they're like this is just for canada and it was a scented dvd it was scented maple Maple, syrup i was gonna say it was scented maple syrup and i'm just like this is like what technology holy shit you know what i mean like so i just thought maybe they could like if they make cds which i doubt they will peppermint scented would be nice because you know christmas vibes. oh i was thinking like pine tree or... oh pine tree's nice too yeah yes yeah, okay. yeah. so, i don't know uh I probably people are gonna buy the mp3s scented cds okay yes. it's a nice dream to have exactly all right my bad i know where that's mean, they'll make it smell <laughs> like nick's kids lasered asshole <laughs> i thought you were gonna say nick's farts i was like what we normally don't talk about I have this. On this. I invented so, this pet. Thank you, new viewers, for now sorry. leaving us. I guess they're like, what the hell are these bitches uh, talking about? This Guys, is basically we've, been, we've been in our houses a really long time, okay? We <laughs> haven't been able to leave. <laughs> We're doing the best uh, we can. We cannot oh leave until everything is over. We're yes. getting closer. Half of us are vaccinated, so. <laughs> Not this time. Hopefully that Where- happens. Be not important enough soon right let's go yay Woo! Woo! go team we're all important here lydia yes <laughs> not me but you guys are god okay, bless okay they're not okay, okay, I'm, important you know I'm important too. i think this is i love we're this. all important <laughs> and okay. not that's what I said. we're all in this together, together. i don't know we never learned that yeah I never learned you're that. all champions thank you you still have like four more weeks to learn it oh. that's true oh yeah i feel like there's like uh Oh yeah, it is. This is. Uh, oh, Zac Zac Efron. Efron. Sorry, okay. Zach Efron is coming to a town. Yes, Zach Efron is coming to our town for filming a Stephen King video. So, oh, like, I saw that oh, on really? Facebook. Post yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, I, I think saw you. he was coming. It was yeah, yeah. So it's gonna be like you know, like when when he does his creepy roles, right? Yeah. He's like, oh, so sexy, and then he's creepy. You're like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. God bless him. He's an actor. So, but still, I'm just like, Lady Boner is like, I don't want to be married. And I'm like, <laughs> Bye. By his Lady bo- Okay. No, I'm saying my, okay. So yes, when he's like, this. hello, I am handsome man. You're like, get it, get it, get it, get it. Uh, uh. You know that song, you know, from TikTok? No. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> but then like when he's doing scary things, I'm like. What scary mm-hmm. movies has he been in? What? Stephen what? King is going to be scary. Okay. Um, He was, uh, he was also Ted Bundy. I was gonna oh, yeah. say, yeah, I didn't watch, that. I didn't watch well, it either because I was like, I, yeah, Sketch. yeah, okay, well, not boy band related, so I guess, <laughs> but he's well, he's a singer, he was in 
True. High School Musical. He could have been in a he boy band. Been. Was I he a like singer, or was it was it just um, lip syncing? I feel like he. No, no, because he was also in The Greatest Showman, and he sang in that as well. Yes. So oh, true, true. Is... Oh my God, how could I forget that? I and want we, we read the stars. Yeah, so you know that. All right. All right. Okay. Um, on that note, uh, please come back next week. It'll be more focused. It'll be and more focused. Thanks for taking a break with us, guys. Until next time. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.